of unstuck in time. Billy has gone to sleep a senile widower and awakened on his wedding day. He has walked through the door in 1955 and come out another one in 1941. He has gone back through the door to find himself in 1963. He has seen his birth and death and pays random visits to all events in between. Billy was born in 1922 and a son of Barbara. He graduated from Alien High School and attended night sessions at the Alien School of Tom Tree for one semester before being drafted for military service in the Second World War. So it goes. Hey! Right hey, you! What the hell are you doing on and out here all by yourself? I'm, I'm a chaplain. My assistant got shot. You know what? You don't want to get yourself shot. We have to get a move on. Find enemy lines. No ammo. No food. God knows where we are. Jeez, look at this guy. No helmet, no food, not even combat boots. Looks like a filthy flamingo. Who might you be? I'm Roland Weary. I was part of an anti-tank gun crew when a tank shot at us and I was the only one who lived. Fancy that, huh? Let's go! <laughs> Save your life again, you dumb bastard. Can't do anything to save the show. Uh, you guys, you guys go on. on. How'd you like to get hit with this, hmm? I wouldn't. You know why this blade's triangular? No. Makes a wound that won't close up. Oh. Makes a three-sided hole in a guy. You stick an ordinary knife in a guy, makes a slit, right? The slit closes up, right? Right. Sheesh. What do you know? What the hell they teach in college? I wasn't there very long. Six months at the most. I was in high school for optometry. <laughs> Joe College. There's more to life than what you read in books. You'll find that out. Close it up, keep it closed. You see, Billy? Us three, we're the three musketeers. And when all this is over, I'll be a hero for saving the college kid. And I'll get a bronze star. Mr. Major will ask what he can do for us. And I'll simply say, stick us three together for the rest of the war. Because no one can ever break the Three Musketeers. <laughs> hey, you alright? Hey, we gotta get out of here. These guys are gonna get us killed. <laughs> hey man, you... Oh, uh, how? Where for us? Damn it! Looks like they left. Jesus, am I gonna have to carry you through this war? I mean, I go all around me, I'm alright. Uh, <laughs> Damn it, you think this is funny? <laughs> 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 Was ist das? Oh, here we go. Get up. Get up. March. March. <laughs> oh, you like it shiny 
blade. What the lucky pony. You wish you were that pony? Splits. It's marching. You one of my boys? What? You from the 451st? 451st what? Infantry Regiment. I will take pictures of the feet. Just look how disgusting, bootless they are. This picture will spread all over Germany. Show how unequipped the Americans are, even though they are rich as kings. <laughs> no, I need something more lively. Could you guys show me an actual capture? Okay, you come with me. America, come out, your hands up. Wunderbar! Get in the boxcar! Why me? Why anybody? I've been hungrier than this, and I've been in worse places than this. This ain't so bad. Pilgrim, is that you? God damn it, that is you! Uh. It is you, alright, just get the hell out of here. Get out of here, Pilgrim. I shut up! Sleep. I'll shut up when Billy gets the hell out of here. But where do I sleep? Not with me. Not with me. You yell and you kick. I do? You're goddamn right you do, and whipper. I do? Keep the hell away from here, Pilgrim. Hey, punk, you Billy Pilgrim? Yeah. I'm Paul Lazaro. I still poke it out of cars back in Illinois. Anyways, my friend Roland Weary died back in the boxcar of gangrene. Oh, yeah, good chat, good chat. Spent his last day saying, Billy Pilgrim killed me, and so forth. Well, I'm gonna avenge his death. I'll kill you. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but when you least expect it, I'm gonna kill you. Okay. Yeah, so when someone comes ringing the doorbell, you best not be answering it. Why me? Where am I? Trapped in another blob of amber, Mr. Tipper. We are where we have to be just now. Three. Hundred million miles from Earth. Bound for a time warp which will get us to Trafador in hours rather than centuries. It would take another Earthling to explain it to you. Earthlings are the great explainers, explaining why this event is structured as it is, telling other events may be achieved or avoided. I am a Trafadorian single time as you might see a stretch of the Rocky Mountains. All time is time. It does not change, it does not lend itself to warnings or explanations, it simply is. Take it moment by moment and you will find that we are all bugs in amber. It sounds to me as though you don't believe in free will. If I hadn't spent so much time studying earthlings, I wouldn't have any idea what you mean by free will. I have visited 31 inhabited planets in the universe and I have studied reports on more. Only on Earth is there any talk of free will. Go. What have you learned on Trafamador so far? How the inhabitants of a whole planet can live in peace. As you know, I'm from a planet that has been engaged in senseless slaughter since the beginning of time. I've, I myself have seen the bodies of schoolgirls who were boiled alive in a water tower by my own countrymen. Who were proud of fighting pure evil at the time. And I have lit my way into a prison at night with candles from the fat of a human beings who were butchered by the brothers and fathers of those schoolgirls who were boiled. Earthlings must be the terrors of the universe. If other planets aren't now in danger from Earth, they soon will be. So tell me the secret so I can take it back to Earth and save us all. How can a planet live in such peace? We know how the universe ends. But how does the universe end? We blow it up. 
experimenting with new fuels for our flying saucers. A trial from the Dorian test pilot presses a starter button and the whole universe disappears. Well, if you know this, isn't there some way you can prevent it? Can you keep the pilot from pressing the button? He has always pressed it, and he always will. We always let him, and we always will let him. The moment is structured that way. So I suppose the idea of preventing war on Earth is stupid too. Of course. You do have a peaceful plan. Today we don't. Other days we have wars as horrible as any you have seen or read about. There isn't anything we can do about them, so we can simply we so we simply don't look at them. We ignore them. We spend eternity eternity looking at pleasant moments. Isn't this a nice moment? That's one thing Earthlings might learn to do if they tried hard enough. Ignore the awful times and concentrate on the good ones. Oh, you're on fire, lad. Uh. Can you talk? Can you hear? Yeah. My God! What have they done to you? This isn't a man, this is a broken kite. My God, lad. Are you really an American? Yes. And your rank? Private. 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 Well, what became of your books, lad? Uh, the Germans took it away from me. They used to fill themselves. And your jacket? Is this... A joke? Yes. Yeah. No, they, they gave it to me. This is the worst jacket I've ever seen in my life. It's like a piece of feces wrapped in a nasty brown coat and piss of destruction. When the, when the Germans, when I got off the... Boxcar, the game gave this to me. It took away my old jacket, which I liked very much. This is an insult, lad. This isn't a gift. You realize this, right? Oh my god. Yank. Yank, this is awful. Oh my god. Well, uh, so what do you have around to do around here? Nothing much. I see you doing a Cinderella play over there? Yes. I would let you in it, but I don't think you look like an actor. Would you be surprised? I don't think I would be, because you look like the worst act I've ever seen. <laughs> Walking around in this wardrobe of disgusting... <laughs> this... Oh, can I, can I watch the show? Yes, go ahead, watch it. Right. Have a good time. Good welcome, time. welcome. Cinderella, Cinderella, oh, oh, oh! Goodness me! The clock has struck! Alec Dane! And pluck my luck! <laughs> Oi! Take this lot away. He's crazy. Oh, yeah, Captain! 